Hello there, I am Scott Dean. You are not. Sorry, I was thirsty. So continuing Thanksgiving week, welcome to Retro Rewind. We talk about all things from the past 90s and early 2000s. And we are now on the season five episode. Uh, eight. The one with all the Thanksgivings. And while well, the next episode is a continuation of Thanksgiving because it's about my sandwich. I'm not doing that one. It's Thanksgiving sandwich, but it's after Thanksgiving. It's a Thanksgiving episode. And when this episode start, first of all, okay, Warner Brothers, who released this on the Blu-ray. Why did you make it so difficult to see where the highlight is for each episode? I'm trying to figure out, to get to the episode, I can barely tell which one is highlighted. And as such, I clicked the wrong episode. I actually clicked the next one. I was like, wait, this doesn't seem like Thanksgiving. Because it wasn't. It was the one afterwards. So I went back and I watched, you know, the actual Thanksgiving episode. I didn't watch all the way through that the sandwich, but, you know. But in this one, we start off, they've already had Thanksgiving dinner. So again, no turkey. No, there is one turkey, but they start to reminisce about, you know, what they're thankful for, and Joey is, of course, thankful for the fall weather that they're having because he was at a train station, and the wind came and blew this woman, this girl's skirt right up, and he's also thankful for thongs, and then they went to the title song, and when they come back, he's still talking about thongs, and then they start decide to talk about worst Thanksgiving ever, where we finally get, you know, some answers for Chandler's Thanksgiving um, but I'm a little confused because the story we see is not what he told in the first episode because the infamous more turkey Mr. Chandler happens after he finds out about his they're getting a divorce because his dad is gay and is dating the houseboy or whatever he's called more turkey Mr. Chandler his story in the first season episode told us that he was in the middle of dessert when it happened. He had a mouthful of pumpkin pie. And here, he has a turkey on his plate. He still has regular food on his plate, and he's offered more turkey. More turkey, Mr. Chendel. Yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't know. And it's weird, that, that character is memorable. It's the only appearance we ever see of this guy. More turkey, Mr. Chendel. That's what people remember it for. We get more inconsistencies, although they do save it. And they talk about the time that Joey got his head stuck in a turkey. Christmas 1992. So the first one was Christmas 1978, and now it's Christmas 1992. Or, not Christmas. Thanksgiving 1992, is what I said. What I meant. Thanksgiving 1992. Joey and Phoebe are there already. And they, and old Chandler. But we find out that, you know, the Gellers have known Chandler since Ross went to college. But uh, Phoebe walks in and she hears someone calling her name and it's Joey inside of a turkey head or a stunt guy who dressed up like Joey with a turkey on their head. And I, I don't think Matt, Le, Matt LeBlanc was, dead, was actually underneath the turkey, but, you know. I do like though when she goes, she goes, oh my god, who is that? And he he, he just stands up. It's Joey. I like it's like how he says it. It's Joey. And he scared Chan. He, he did the scare Chandler, which he does. And I was sitting there watching this part. I'm going, oh wait, the first season is supposed to be their first Thanksgiving ever. However, it is saved by one line in which uh, Monica says that turkey has to be at my parents' table. Or at my parents' house, or in their oven, or something, in a few hours. I'm just like, so why does she have their turkey? 
she say she would buy it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah. And then Rachel starts talking about... Before this, about Monica's worst Thanksgiving. And then uh, Phoebe goes, Oh, no, no. This can't be Monica's worst Thanksgiving because it was before Rachel came into the group. Do years before on my dad. So then they tell another story. Uh, Chris, no, no. Thanksgiving 1987. <gasps> the year I was born. Uh, this is the this is where their family met Joey for, or not Joey Chandler for the first time, and you can tell this is around the time that prom video came around because uh, Rachel has the. Monica's still fat. Rachel still has the her old nose. And Ross has that Hey there, Mr. Katia mustache that we would establish later. Or earlier. Because it's season five, it was season two of the the, the prom video, so Hey there, looking good, Mr. Katia <laughs> says. But yeah, uh and then he introduces Chandler for the first time to his family. And um because Chan, and if you're thinking, why did he bring Chandler if Chandler doesn't like Thanksgiving? But Chandler still went with him? Because they got something to do afterwards, apparently. But uh, Monica offers to make him mac and cheese, which she does, and he likes. And this is where he says, you should be a cook. She goes, okay. And I thought, I thought about that for a second. I'm like, wait, is Chandler the reason why she became a chef? Because that's just... I know it, it, it's a retroactive, it's a retcon, because you know how they are, but, you know, that moment in season one, when they say that they're lucky, they're happy, at least, other than a guy found someone, and then everyone looks at someone, and it's Monica and Chen looking at each other, is more, you know, looked back on for me, like it's more one of those, hey, that's accidental foreshadowing where this was they're already in a relationship let's just kind of put that in there that Chandler's the one that pushed her to become by the way this is at the point I forgot to mention where they are in the seasons the season 3 episode okay um it was right after Chandler and Janice broke up which is why he wanted the Dutch girl the, the, the Dutch lady Dutch woman this one comes where at, shortly after Ross's botched second marriage. You know, he said, I, Ross, take the Rachel in front of Emily, who he's supposed to be marrying. And so they, uh, they got divorced. Yeah. That's when this happened. So, just so we know. And uh, Monica and Chandler are seeing each other secretly. And it's the very next episode they find the underwear in the apartment. Joey has to say it's his. I want to point out, though, that Chandler, Chandler still could have said it was his. Is it? Oh, that's mine. I, uh, Monica, uh, did my laundry for me because I wasn't going to have time to do it. I guess she forgot one of my pairs of underwear. Boom! Or. Monica and I were doing laundry together. And I must have left a pair of underwear here. Something like that. But they throw Joey under the bus because. Anyway, back to the actual episode we're talking about. So they tell the story. And Monica overhears Chandler and Ross. Do, well, they're doing the dishes, by the way, which would never happen. Children aren't going to do the dishes for you. Come on. They should absolutely offer. But, you know, there's no offering. They're just doing it. And, uh... <clears throat> uh, so uh, but this is where uh, Monica overhears Chandler calling her fat because he's going to have to go by the way they mentioned did they, did they mention Carol here or is that, that that's the next season the, or the next year they flash forward so we'll wait but like he he's gotta go do something 
which leaves Chandler there. Or this is where he wants to ask Rachel out, which would leave Chandler there alone. But because Rachel's having an issue with her boyfriend Chip. She wants to have sex with him, but um something, I don't know. Uh, but he doesn't want to stay there with your fat sister. She overhears that, and that's when she decides to lose weight. So again, they've retroactively, they've retconned now two things that Chandler is now responsible for. Chandler is responsible for her becoming a chef and for her losing weight. Wow, that's a lot of bullshit to retcon. Wow, like Chandler, did retroactively looking back at this, retconning this stuff makes you think, oh, she and Chandler were meant to be together, which is probably what they were trying to convey. But to me, I just look at that and go, bullshit. There's no way all this was leading towards the what like I mentioned. The one thing in season one worked because it wasn't something they pulled out of their ass after the fact. It was something that just happened, and it worked. I'm just saying. Keep in mind that I was never a really big fan of pairing them together because that also lessened the time of Chandler and Joey stuff. Which I think they realized because there's abundance of it in the last season. You know, but... You know. Uh, so, like, okay, yeah, that's, that's my worst Thanksgiving. And Rachel's like, that's not what I was talking about. It was the next year. Uh, Rachel got her nose fixed. The guys don't have ridiculous haircuts. Ross no longer has the mustache. He talks about Carol, right? And they make a joke about her going both ways. Uh, and then uh, uh, Carol is not there, but uh, and then you know, uh, so they have set up that Chandler is the reason why Monica chose to lose weight. So now she's trying to hit on Chandler because of that. Like She wants to humili humiliate him. And so their plan is for her to seduce him and so that they go to have sex, but she leaves him naked and laughs at him. But in doing so, in flirting... Something happens that wouldn't actually happen in real life. She decides to flirt with it with with a with, with, with chef's knife, a knife, you know, like Michael Myers' kitchen knife. Yeah, one of those. She accidentally drops it. It lands on Chandler's foot, severing his toe. Not just any toe, his pinky toe. We find out later because he calls it the little piggy, the piggy that ran all the way home. This little, the little piggy that ran all the way home. So, it wouldn't work that way. One, there's no way it would get just a pinky toe. Two, whether he's wearing shoes made of wicker or not, there was not enough force from Monica's arms to make it so it would... Okay, let me demonstrate with this. This is Chandler's foot in the, in the shoe. Actually, I can actually use my own shoe here. Okay, let me demonstrate what I want. Do I have it? Okay. Don't try this at home, kids. I have a knife, okay? This is Chandler's shoe. Okay, so for it to puncture the shoe, it would have to go down, forced enough, enough force to just and go through the shoe. Right now, it's not even going through my shoe. Then again, mine not made of wicker, but it had enough force to go through. When it drops, it bounces off the shoe. So when it fell, we're gonna do this from the height, okay? Oh, excuse me. Okay, so there's the shoe. This is from the height that it would fall. Well, it missed the shoe, so let's just do it this way. Okay, make sure it lands on the shoe. See, it would bounce off the shoe. It would bounce off the shoe, so... And there's Eddie Thorpe. Um, it's a lot community creations right now. Uh, so there, science. We just feel like the science guy, that shit. 
it wouldn't have gone through his shoe, wicker or not. You know, there was no force to put it through the shoe. And we have to deal with the fact that his toe, his pinky toe, which of course it wouldn't have landed on because that's the farthest toe from where the knife was going. He has no pinky toe, because they called him Limp, Limpy the Clown, or so, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. And they get one final thing where she makes up with him by putting the turkey on her head. Keep in mind, this is after Thanksgiving's already happened. Yeah, so she had to go out and buy a whole nother ass turkey, shove it on her head. Still somehow I would make it up two. So for that still work, she had to have gone outside of his apartment, knocked on the door, put the turkey on her head quick, and then walked in. And then she put the glasses and the fez on and does a little dance. And this is where we get the first utterance of Chandler saying I love you to her. She's in a turkey's ass, so it's not really comfortable. But yeah, that's the first instance. So there you go. That's the episode. Um... It's a better one. It's a better one. But I'm telling you, I want turkey. Not just turkey on someone's head. Or they already ate turkey. Or more turkey, Mr. Chandler. I want to see someone eating turkey in a present time. Okay? That's what Thanksgiving is all about. The turkey! Oh, give me the turkey, damn it. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this episode? And in the comments, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to eject this so it doesn't turn off. And my chair keeps squeaking.